Good morning and welcome to our Vitamix Facebook Live. This is the second edition of Vitamix Facebook Live. Today we have some Vitamix experts who are ready to take you through a live demo. They're going to show you some great fall recipes to get you ready for this new season and um, give you some how-tos and then also some great promo information. So here we go. Hi, guys. Are you ready, Tarina and Allie? Yes, we are ready. Yes, thank Leah. you so much, Leah. Uh, so thank, thank you. you, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and just introduce our team at Vitamix. So uh, my name's Tarina, and I've been working for Vitamix for about 10 years in the Philly area. And then we have Allie on this camera. You can see her as well. So she's been with Vitamix close to 10 years herself, and she is up in Buffalo, New York. What's up, Allie? And then we have Mark Jensen, who is coming to us from California. And he's been with Vitamix for, Mark, how long have you been with Vitamix? I think he said 18 years. He's on, you're on mute, Mark. Oh, okay, there you go. Almost 20 years. I've been with Vitamix this November, 20 years. Wow. Awesome. So, a so time. we, yeah, we've been all doing this for a long time and we love Vitamix. And Right now, we're so excited because the package that we're bringing to you today for our fall promotion with AFES is the best package that we've all seen in our collective years of Vitamix. So let's talk about the package real quick, and then I'm going to start making some recipes. So we have our A2500, and uh, these, uh, you can see the actual price on um, shopmyexchange.com, and you can also click the link in the Facebook Live that we're doing. If you go into the comment section, there should be a link pinned there. And you can see the price, but these are $50 off. And we're also offering a free 48 ounce container with the purchase of the A2500. And you're going to see Allie using that 48 ounce container a lot today. That's the container she's primarily going to use. And I'm going to go ahead and kick us off with a fun fall recipe. So the first thing I'm going to make is a pumpkin pie spice. And one thing I love about the Vitamix is its ability to grind fresh spices and herbs. You can make your own dry rubs for meat or what I'm gonna do is this pumpkin pie spice. And you can actually use any container. You can use a, 60, a 64 ounce container that you see here or the 48 ounce container that Allie has. But I'm gonna show you another accessory that we have that you can also pick up today, which is our eight ounce bowl. And right now in the bowl, I have uh, cinnamon sticks and I'm gonna add a couple other things to this, but. These actually come in a kit with two of these bowls, two lids, and a mini blade. And this blade attaches right onto your scent series, has smart detect technology, so it won't let you turn it on unless this is actually screwed on. Um, really great, and these are a great price, price at Shop My Exchange, so make sure you check them out. But let's go ahead and get this uh, recipe loaded up. So we have four cinnamon sticks, and these are whole cinnamon sticks. And this is why I love Vitamix. It's so powerful. You're able to blend anything like this. These are cloves. Uh, so that was about a, tea, a tablespoon of cloves, half a tablespoon of allspice. This is a little bit of ground nutmeg, but if you had nutmeg, whole little nuts of nutmeg, you could pop that in as well. And then this is crystallized ginger. So all those great fall flavors going in. And what we're gonna do is just put our lid for this on. And then we are going to turn it on for a couple seconds. And this one's so fast, um, I'm just going to, we're just going to run through it live. So let me give it a start. All you do to start your Vitamix, by the way, is set it to speed one and then press the start button. I'm going to crank it up to high. This will be ground in about 10 seconds. It's so cool. Let's do it. That's it. So that fast, we just created a fresh pumpkin pie spice. And let me tell you, if you've never tried anything with fresh spices, it smells so good. The whole kitchen smells like fall. Look at that consistency, completely ground up. And now you can use this in your pumpkin pie. I'm going to be using it in a smoothie and a soup today. But really, the sky's the limit when you can combine any of your own spices and herbs. So I'm actually going to send it over to Allie who's going to be making whipped cream for us next. And she's going to talk about the package and everything that comes with the Vitamix today. So Allie, take it away. 
Awesome. Thanks, T, so much. I love pumpkin spice, too. Cinnamon is actually my absolute favorite spice. So this is the best time of the year, in my opinion. The leaves are changing. I'm up in Buffalo, so the weather is definitely getting a bit colder. I love the crisp air, though, outside. So awesome. And it's a perfect season to use your Vitamix. So again, like T said, I'm just going to go over the package here. What comes with your A2500 is a large 64-ounce container. It does also come with one of these tamper sticks. Everyone, tamper sticks are awesome. Um, they were patented by Vitamix back in the day. They're great. What they do is they actually, they stop this little um, catcher right here, stops just about a half inch above the blade. So if there's any jam ups, anything that's not getting down to the blade, anything that's, that's stuck, you can use this just to get things moving. You don't have to stop your Vitamix, shake up the container, anything like that. So this is a really cool tool. This does, again, come with your package. 64 ounce container. And like T said, I'm going to be spotlighting the 48 ounce container that comes for free with your purchase through ACs. This is awesome. Um, honestly, I have a biased opinion, but this is my favorite container. It's much easier to fit into my, into my um, refrigerator here. I do smaller serving sizes of pro, uh, protein shakes. I'm going to be making a whipped cream here in just a second, but it's, it's a great container. And it's really nice to have two containers because, like I said, you can do your whipped cream in here. I'm going to be dumping into another recipe after that, and I can do it in my 64-ounce container. So you can really just switch these on and off really simple. Another thing, too, is you also get a recipe book. This is more like a culinary adventure. When you open this up, it really opens your eyes into everything you can do with the Vitamix. Like, like T did, grinding spices, um, pancakes, dough, flour, tons of soups, tons of smoothies, sauces, dips. There's the, really, the possibilities are endless. So this cookbook's great. Also, you do get another um, just first blends guide with your 48-ounce container. And this is just a quick guide, too. This is really nice to have, give you some more ideas with your 48-ounce container. So that also comes in the box. And then you do get an additional tamper stick with your 48-ounce container. So you have two of these, um, and they both work. They're the same size. They both work for each of the containers. So really cool. And now we'll just jump right in. Um, I'm going to put this one off to the side here. That's our 64-ounce container. And then we're going to pop on this. 48 ounce. Really cool too. I want to just point this out. The lid, <clears throat> the top of the lid is actually removable. This is 200 or thir excuse me, 30 milliliters or two ounces. It's a perfect shot glass. And I'm, I'm going to show you later on how to just use this as a measuring cup too. So it's a great tool. And again, this is how you just use your tamper stick. This just top lid removes. Boom. Very, very simple. And then also on the containers, you have cups, ounces, and milliliters. So it's really easy to eye things up. I do have some things prepped here. But just to show you, um, whip, making whipped cream in your Vitamix is very simple. It just takes all of three ingredients. So we're going to use this. I can eye this up to two cups of just heavy cream here. Very, very simple. Boom. Then we got three tablespoons of just sugar. And then my favorite, um, like I said, fall's my favorite season, um, cinnamon, vanillas, pumpkin, all of that. I just love the spices. But I got just a tablespoon here of a little vanilla extract. Um, me personally, I like to add in two tablespoons. Like I said, I'm a vanilla, big vanilla fan. Um, so yeah, it's very simple. And then using your Vitamix, I'm just going to blend quick too, just like T did. Um, what's awesome as well is your A2500. You have a bunch of different features here. So you do have your start and stop on the right of the machine. That's backwards, so I just had to make sure I said that right. And then you also have your pulse feature. You have the one through 10 dial. So you have your variable control, which gives you, um, a lot of ability to create your own thickness or thinness, all of that stuff. And then you also have the presets here, smoothie, frozen dessert, and hot soup. So very simple. I'm just going to quickly show you how to use the variable controls. So check this out. We're just going to start this whoop, right on one. And it's cool, too, because the, um, the ascent actually times every recipe, too. So this recipe takes just about 10 to 12 seconds. You're just going to slowly crank it up to 10. Perfect. We've got a nice, delicious whipped cream. I can't wait to show you this. I'm also going to, I'll pour it out to you, and I'll, when we come back to me, I'll show you the end product. And we're going to be using this too later in uh, my last recipe. So very exciting. Thanks so much. I'm going to send it back. Oh, also, I wanted to make, make a point too. If there's any questions, concerns, anything like that, while we're making these recipe, recipes, please just drop it in the comments below. Be more than happy to answer them while, while we are live today. So we do actually have a, um, a question. 
let's see. Victoria says, I may have missed it, but will that mini bowl fit on all Vitamixers? Oh, that's a great question. So the mini bowl will fit on any of our Ascent or Venturist series. So any of the machines that have a clear lid. So if you have a Vitamix machine that has a black lid that came with a container with a black lid, it won't fit. If you have one that came with a clear lid, like you see us using here, those are the machines. So it's an Ascent or Venturist series, and that's because of the Smart Detect technology. So great question. And if you have more questions about that or you need to identify what type of machine you have, you can check the sticker on the back or the bottom that usually has the model number, or you can call 1-800-VITAMIX and they'd be happy to help you identify it as well. Awesome question. All Excellent. right. So and I, I am new to Vitamix, you guys, and I just learned that that top piece was a measuring cup. So that's something new <laughs> that I just found out right now today. Awesome. Yeah, Leah, you picked yours up during the last promotion, right? I did. Yes. Awesome. I love it. Um, all right. So I'm going to make a quick smoothie for you guys. And I'm going to show you uh, a pumpkin pie smoothie. And this recipe is on, <clears throat> excuse me, on our website, Vitamix.com. You can check it out. And I believe we also have these recipes pinned so that you can see them. Uh, you can check it out in the Facebook comments. But let's get started. So this recipe I did modify a little bit in uh, on Vitamix.com, this recipe called for sweetened condensed milk, and I did not have that. So I'm actually going to start with almond milk instead, because that's what I had. And this is one thing I love about Vitamix is that you really can alter your recipes to fit your either diet, lifestyle, or just what you have in the fridge in the cabinet. Sometimes you might not have one thing. It's really easy to sub, and it's still going to turn out great. This is vanilla yogurt. And this is about three quarters of a cup. That's what it called for. I think I'm a little bit short, but again, that's okay because the Vitamix is still going to give us a beautiful consistency. And this is pumpkin pie, um, just pu not pumpkin pie, but just pumpkin mix. So this is just pumpkin out of a can. And um, I did open the can this morning and this is half a cup. Now I have a bunch of pumpkin left over because it's about two cups of pumpkin in that can. But the great thing is, is I went on Vitamix.com this morning and I found about seven other pumpkin recipes. There's pumpkin brownies, pumpkin muffins, pumpkin pancakes. The pumpkin possibilities are pretty endless. So I'm going to be hitting up some of those recipes later to use up the rest of that pumpkin. Okay. Now this is one thing that is not in the recipe. This is a carrot. It's a whole carrot. And I'm actually going to pop this in here. It's going to add a bright orange color to our smoothie, but also it's going to give me a serving of vegetables. And that's one thing that I cannot say enough about the Vitamix. You can put kale, spinach, carrots, beets. I mean, basically any veggies you want, mix them with your fruits or sweet things. And the consistency is going to come out so perfect. You, your friends, your family, they will not know that they're getting their veggies, which is such an amazing thing. When you have a powerful machine that gives you the right consistency, you can get more healthy things in your diet by hiding them in your sweeter smoothies. All right, that was about a tablespoon of honey that I added in. And the last thing for this is ice. So we're just gonna use about a cup of ice in here. And that's all. So I am ready to blend this up and I'm actually gonna send it back. Um, we're gonna mute me while I'm blending this because this will be a little loud. It's gonna run just on the smoothie setting, which is 50 seconds. And I will come back and show you guys the final result. I'll show you the smoothness, pouring it out but I'll go ahead and send it back to you guys for the next recipe. Awesome, thanks so much, T. We are ready to whip up. And again, if there's any questions, comments, anything like that, just make sure to drop it in the comment section below. Use this while we're live. We'd love to answer your questions. Again, Mark, T and I were very, very passionate about Vitamix. We have a lot of years combined experience and um, this is just the most powerful kitchen tool you can uh, invest in for yourself, for your friends, for your family. It is the best. Um, and just a little story about myself. I grew up, um, I didn't really cook a lot. My parents didn't really cook a lot. So I was very intimidated, um, you know, once I got my own place and going into the kitchen and I'm just like, where do I start? So when I got involved with Vitamix, it just made everything so incredibly easy. And we're not just saying that. People think, and this is me, this is me saying it, but people think you need this endless amount of groceries to make these crazy meals, these professional meals, but it's actually really simple. So I'm going to do one of my favorite things to make in the Vitamix right now is a fondue. So you can not only do 
cold and you can shop and it's, it's great to do all of that, but you also can make hot um, recipes with your Vitamix. There's no heating element. It's just heated by friction. So the blade actually moves so fast that it creates heat, just like rubbing your hands together, right? The longer you do this for, the warmer your hands get. Friction, same thing, same idea. Um, really a good way to lay it out too is when you're making like a smoothie or an ice cream, you're running the Vitamix for about 35 to 35 seconds to a minute, whereas a hot soup or a fondue, something like that, you're going to be running it for upwards of three to six minutes. So again, the longer you let it run for, the hotter it's going to get. So very, very simple. I went ahead and prepped all the ingredients. It's literally six ingredients. So it's so simple. Um, and it's really, it's really fun. So we got here just two cups of heavy cream again. Just piggyback off the recipe uh, ingredient I used last. We got a cup of water. And also, we're going to share all of these recipes, too. So you'll have a PDF that you can download at the end of this uh, event, and you can use these recipes when you purchase your Vitamix uh, later on. So very, very cool. And then we have four, or excuse me, this is four tablespoons of espresso. Did I tell you guys I was making a chocolate espresso fondue? I think I just said fondue, but this is a chocolate espresso fondue. It's going to be delicious. And then we got six tablespoons of powdered sugar. My favorite ingredient, we have four cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Simple. And then last but not least, just to show you off or show you all again, um, this is the removable lid. It's two ounces or 30 milliliters. This is exactly, I need actually two ounces of brandy to tie this recipe all together. So this is perfect. I can just use my measuring cup here. Boom. And boom. This is going to be so good. And luckily it's Friday. I'll bust into this later as well. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Guys. Um, so yeah, and I just want to point out too, not only can you do fondues, but hot fudge, queso dip, He's, uh, her next recipe, she's going to be jumping into a delicious fall soup for you all. So the possibilities really are endless with your Vitamix. You can do so much. And like I said, this package is amazing. You're getting two containers, the 64 ounce, the 48 ounce. You're getting our ascent line, our A2500. This has a ton of new technology. There's a ton of new um, accessories you can use with these, these uh, new generation machines. And again, cookbooks, tamper sticks, and then you're also getting a 10-year warranty. So it's a great deal. Um, definitely click that link, look up the package, look up the price, and you're going to love it. So I'll switch it back over to you. Oh, last thing, I'm just going to be blending this for about three, three and a half minutes. So we're going to, again, jump back to tea. But if there's any questions, like I said, just keep commenting, commenting below, giving us some likes. We really appreciate it. And thank you, everyone, for your time. I'll see you guys soon. Awesome. Thanks, Allie. So I am here. Can you guys hear me? Yes? Yes. Okay, awesome. So I am here. I have my finished smoothie, and this actually stopped automatically, which is great. So let's see how this pours out into the glass. And it smells so good. So let's go ahead and pour it in. And this consistency, you just can't beat it. It's amazing the texture you get and look at I picked the perfect glass for this look at that so nice creamy rich smoothie and this would taste even better if I had remembered to add my fresh pumpkin pie spice that I made to it which I forgot but that's okay because I'm going to make a lot more of these but um I was planning on putting this in there I am going to use it for the soup though but really you can add anything and you know, Allie just made that whipped cream in the Vitamix. That would be great as a topping for this smoothie if you wanna be decadent, amazing. So endless possibilities. I wanna show you next how you can clean your Vitamix. This is something I love. This is the reason why I use my Vitamix so often because when something's easy to clean, you're gonna use it every day, right? And the Vitamix is so easy to clean. What I'm gonna do is just rinse it out. So get all the residue I can off in the sink. And then put about two cups of water in the bottom of this. And my water is warm. You can use hot water. And then just a little dish soap. And you really just need a tiny drop of dish soap because that's going to foam up for us. We'll rinse the lid out here as well. And then all you do to clean this is blend it back on the base. And this is why so many people use their Vitamix on a daily basis and love it so much. Because when something's easy to use and easy to clean, you're going to want to use it every day, right? 
people don't like to have to take things apart. I know I don't. I have a lot of appliances under the cabinets, under the counter that I never use, but this is super easy. So all I'm gonna do is put it on speed one, crank it up. That's it. My dishes are done. All I have to do is dump this back down the drain and rinse it out and we are ready for the next recipe. And before we make anything else or go back to Allie, I do want to talk about a couple other promotions we have going on. Uh, we also have on promo today through Shop My Exchange, our E310 Vitamix. And this E310, you can see this comes actually standard with a 48 ounce container. It is not one of the Ascent series, so it doesn't have that smart detect technology that we were talking about before. But let me tell you what, this is the absolute lowest price that you're going to see on a Vitamix this season. And I, it's so, these prices are so good, we actually can't say them on Facebook Live because other retailers would be jealous of them. Um, but these are exclusive discounts just for our APs family members. So we're really excited to offer you guys these prices. And this E310, like I said, it's a great starter Vitamix. Think of it for a friend or a family member, somebody just starting out as a gift. Think of your grandparents, if they need help getting more nutrition in their diet, this machine is an awesome product to get into the hands of people at the awesome price. Now, again, this package that we have is our A2500. We do offer it in slate that I'm using here and Allie's using the black unit in her kitchen. So slate and black, those are your color choices. It is gonna come with our 48 ounce container for free. This is a free gift valued at $99. And this unit is also $50 off the regular price that you see on shopmyexchange.com. Starting today, running through December 13th, we have these awesome prices for you. The machine comes in the box with this awesome recipe book. This is one of my favorite Vitamix recipe books. It has so many great recipes, soups, smoothies. It has different dips and spreads, salad dressings, different spice spices that you can grind up as well. And you're also gonna get a 10 year full warranty. Now, Vitamix, is an American company. These are made in the USA, which is great. We love that about Vitamix. And we're actually coming up on our 100 year anniversary in 2021. So Vitamix has been around, if you can believe it, for 100 years making US made products. We're really, really proud to bring this to you guys this season to bring you this amazing package. And I'm gonna go ahead and send it back to Allie. It looks like she's ready with her fondue. So we will see how that turned out. Awesome. I love it. Thank you so much, T. Um, my fondue is done. You all out there uh, in virtual land, you should be jealous. This is so good. I, this is my favorite thing I make. I want to actually see if you guys can see the steam coming out of there. Isn't that crazy? Ooh, uh, I don't know if you can tell with um, through the that screen, looks but so it good. is steamy. It's it hot. looks really good. It smells good. so good. I can't wait. I actually cut up some strawberries and banana. Um, angel food cake is great with this. Um, oh but check gosh. this out. I'm just going to pour this out for you. But check that out. Isn't that amazing? I'm trying to get the best camera angle. Sorry. I'm, I'm a Vitamixer. I'm not a, <laughs> a camera woman. But <laughs> isn't that amazing? I'm going to go ahead and just dip in a little um, banana and strawberry. I'll do a little quality control for you, a little taste test. Um, so check this out. Oh my God, that's perfect. Mm, absolutely delicious. I'm also a big coffee fan. So the uh, the espresso touch is just fantastic. I've done a feta cheese fondue that's just as good. So you can do so much. This is great if you're hosting like a dinner party, having family over. The holidays are coming up. We got Thanksgiving. We got all that good stuff. So this is perfect to have, you know, as a dish there. It's amazing. So I'm actually going to take this, uh, these same ingredients, I'm going to turn it into something fun to you at the end. I just want to point out another thing, too. I forgot to mention this when I was going over what's in the box. But we do have a Vitamix rewards card. I definitely encourage you, when you take your Vitamix home, to um, sign up for our Vitamix rewards programs. You'll get points for first just signing up, but sharing recipes, um, all of that good stuff. So it's a great program. It's very fun. You just sign up with your email, you'll get a ton of promotions to that way and it'll just be part of the Vitamix family so just make sure you do that um and let's see oh yeah any comments please let me know I'm here this is delicious I can't wait I'm actually going to use this later I have a few uh, of my family coming over for dinner so this is going to be perfect for for a little treat for them they're going to be very surprised so 
I love it. I'm going to have another strawberry while, while I uh, get ready to blend my next recipe. Um, and I'm going to send it over to Mark and Leah if there's any questions just to go over that, that package and pricing again. I don't see questions, but I do see uh, Victoria says, we, uh, we won ours in 2014 from the exchange. It's been one of the best kitchen helpers. She also shared a little bit earlier that she uh, makes tomato juice and freezes it. So they no longer buy store-bought tomato juice. And she says it's the, the best they've ever had. That's, That's awesome. awesome. I love it, Victoria. And there was one more um, comment. I'm looking for it now, but it was uh, related to the, the spice that you made, Tarina. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it's Patty. She says, your fresh spices you made added to 100% pumpkin makes amazing pumpkin pancakes with lots of vitamin A. Oh, yeah, that right. sounds good. <laughs> I actually made pumpkin pancakes the other day with some of the spice when I was practicing this recipe to make sure it turned out good. And I'm telling you, it's so good. Love it. So I guess I'll go ahead and make a soup for us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this prepped at least, and then we'll send it back to Allie. But I'm going to make a butternut squash soup. This is one of my all time favorites for the fall. And you can use butternut squash or any, any other squash that you have. So even like the leftover pumpkin, so you wanted to make your pumpkin smoothie, you could turn that leftover canned pumpkin into this same soup. Just use the same quantity of butternut squash. And again, I can't talk enough about how versatile the Vitamix is. And that's one of the reasons why I love it so much because you really can sub stuff out. But let's go ahead and make our soup here. So this is a cup and a half of butternut squash. And this is raw. And when I first got my Vitamix and stumbled upon this, I love squash and pumpkin soup, but I, I don't like having to cut the butternut squash in half and roast it for so long. It just seems like it took forever. When I discovered that I could take raw cubed butternut squash and make a soup in the Vitamix in five minutes, it was pretty life-changing. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So this is raw peeled and cubed butternut squash. I went to the grocery store and just bought it in a package. They made it so easy for me. And now I put it in my Vitamix. I'm going to add a carrot, a stalk of celery, and I'm actually going to use the celery to scoop out my bouillon. You can use broth or bouillon, whichever you prefer at home. And I'm using that bouillon and then I'm going to add water instead of broth. And this is an apple, an apple a day is what they say. So we're going to put this apple in here. And then I am going to save this core. I'm actually going to show you guys what you can do with your food scraps in a minute here. We have an awesome new product from Vitamix called the Food Cycler. And I'm going to show you how that works. Okay, so this is all loaded up. The last thing I need, can't forget my pumpkin pie spice this time. So I am going to use some of this uh, fresh that we just ground up. And this is about a half a teaspoon that I'm putting in here. Perfect. And my water. So for the sake of time, because we don't have a lot of time and we respect your time, I did use a hot water heater to heat up my water. Normally when I make this recipe and I'm not live, I do this with cold broth right out of my refrigerator. Since we are live, I did heat it a little bit about an hour ago. So this water is warm. You see a little steam coming out. When I start this machine and turn it to the hot soup setting and let it run for about two minutes, this is going to double in temperature. It's going to be steaming hot. And the Vitamix heats by friction alone. So you actually don't need any hot water. You don't need to heat your soup at the, up at the end. Just like Ali's fondue got hot from blending it on high, this will actually get hot all by itself using friction. So just like when you rub your hands together, that's how the Vitamix is able to cook soup. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. I'll see you guys back here in about two minutes to see the finished result of our soup. And we'll go ahead and send it back to Leah and Mark, see if there's any comments and talk about the package. Excellent. Awesome. Well, I don't see any um, questions, Mark. So wondering if you have some information that you would like to share. Yeah. Yeah, actually, but um, let's talk about the package real fast. So I just sharing right now a, a flyer we put together. It's the A2500 that we're selling today or through uh, October, starting October 2nd through December 13th. And you're getting an awesome deal. That's the deal that we're offering through the exchange is so, so good that we can't even uh, actually say the price, but you're getting a free 48 ounce container. You get a 10 year warranty. You get just, you're getting a super, super good deal. So make sure you click on the link below and go to the, to the website and make your purchase. 
We have the E310 that's an awesome value for any kind of Christmas gifts. Um, get those machines while they're, they're available. But um, yeah, guys, this, this package, I mean, I've been selling Vitamix machines for 20 years and this package through the exchange is really one of the best values and the best packages that we've, that we've had. So, so make sure you take advantage of that while uh, it's on sale. So I think we're going to go back to Allie. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Mark. Um, and now I just want to show you, I poured out half of the chocolate espresso fondue that I just made. Um, and I actually saved half of it because this is my finale recipe. This is how simple it is to turn your chocolate espresso fondue into chocolate espresso ice cream. So I got about four cups left of the fondue in here. And then all I'm going to do is just take about three and a half, four cups of ice and pop this right in and turn it into a nice, delicious ice cream. And I think it's really important to um, point this out to the way the Vitamix handles ice is like no other. I mean, I put in, like I said, almost four cups of solid ice and you do this in a regular blender, you know, it'll choke, smoke and break. It just, it can't handle that amount of pressure from, from the frozenness. But with your Vitamix, you can, again, do it all. It's so simple. It's so easy. You can play off recipes. You can, you know, piggyback off recipes like I'm doing here. And there's just an endless, I know I said this earlier, but there's an endless amount of what you can do with your Vitamix. They're fantastic. I'm using the Black 85, A2500. T's got the slate over there in Philly, and we're just having a great time. So thank you so much. I'm going to blend this up really quick. What's cool about making ice cream is it only takes about 35 to 40 seconds. So I'm just going to pass it back right over to Leah and Mark just to ask or answer any more questions, anything like that. And then I'll see you guys back here in, in under a minute. Okay. Awesome. So I do, yeah. I do see a question. Um, Brian says, what is the difference between the Ascent 2500 and Vitamix 5300? The 5300. So the 5300 is a lot like the E310. Um, it it comes with the smaller container. The A2500 has the new technology that allows us to use the different size containers, um, the the food processor attachment, the the 20 ounce cup, the eight ounce bowl. It, it just you have a lot of different. It's, it's just a, it's the newest machine on the market. It also has automatic uh, settings. So you can do the soup. Set it to soup juice or ice cream and it'll automatically run and then turn itself off. Um, the A2500 also comes with a 10 year warranty. So it comes with even a longer warranty. Uh, it's really the, the machine that comes with our longest warranty that we offer. So they're both great machines. They both do a great job, but the A2500 is definitely um, the best package we're offering this season. Um, so it's definitely the one to get, but if you, you need to go a little bit uh, more value price as far as lower price, the A, uh, E310 is the one to get. Awesome. And we actually do have some 5300s, I believe at shopmyexchange.com. Um, and those are $50 off right now as well. So like Mark said, it is the, it's different. It doesn't have the new technology in it, but it's still an amazing machine. I believe we have those in black and red, if I'm not mistaken. So if that's the one you're looking at, cool. it's, it's an amazing Vitamix. It won't work though with these um, different accessories that we have, like Mark said. Awesome, okay, my soup is ready. I'm so excited to show you guys how hot this got. So this is a butternut squash soup. I just wanna give you the big reveal here with the steam and you see all that steam, it's going all the way up to the ceiling. So from friction, it got hot. And like I said, I sped it up with my warm water, but if we would have let this run the full soup cycle, that's the cool thing. When you have a Vitamix with this technology, all you do is you set it to the soup. There's a picture of soup on the machine. You set it, you hit start, you walk away. You can set the table, get the kids washed up for dinner, whatever you need to do, feed the dog, come back and your dinner is ready for you. So that's the amazing thing that I love about the Vitamix. It makes eating healthy and reaching your nutritional goals so easy. This is a soup we just made with raw vegetables from scratch in five minutes. It's so cool. Now I'm going to add one finishing touch here and this, the recipe doesn't call for this. This is just my secret tip for you guys. I make soups all the time in the Vitamix and they tend to get a little bit foamy from the vegetables that you're making and blending up. So to 
get this to all kind of combine together really nicely, I always add a tablespoon of olive oil at the end. So I'm gonna put this on speed one and I'm just gonna pour this tablespoon of oil in as it's blending. You can use any oil. I like olive oil or avocado oil. Anyone will work. And this really brings the recipe together. It's gonna add a nice sheen to the soup. It makes it look really beautiful in the bowl. And it's just my favorite tip to tell new owners about how to make your soup look like mine in your Vitamix at home. So that's ready to serve. This is a nice creamy soup. If you wanted to make a chunky soup, you could add chunks of chicken. You could add any extra veggies that you wanted to at the end. You would put those in on a speed one or two like you just saw me with the oil. So let's pour this out. This is our butternut squash soup. It smells unbelievable. Those fresh spices smell so good in here. And I'm gonna do a little garnish. This is rosemary from the garden. And I hope you can see that. It looks so good. I know it's hard to see with my camera angle, but man, it smells amazing. I'm so excited to eat that for lunch. Now, before I pass it back to Allie to show the ice cream, I do wanna show you one last thing. We have a brand new product for you guys. Just literally came online on Monday on shopmyexchange.com. It's called the Food Cycler. It's this big gray box you see back here. And I usually keep mine on the ground, plugged in right next to my trash can or in my garage, depending on what season it is. But this is actually an indoor uh, compost machine. It actually makes fertilizer. So this is the bucket that comes out of the food cycler. And you can see I've been filling it with food scraps all week. I'm actually ready to, to run this cycle through. But what you do is I leave this in my sink. You can see my sink is right here. I keep it in my kitchen sink all week long, or sometimes it fills up in a day, depending on how much I cook. And once this is full, you take this lid off. This is just a storage lid. You walk it and you put it in your food cycler unit. And the cool thing is since the bucket's removable, you can keep this unit anywhere in your house, a laundry room, a pantry, on the floor like I do, in your garage, anywhere with an outlet. And this is a one button start. All you do is press it and makes that little beep. And then it pretty, pretty much is gonna run silently for anywhere from four to eight hours. When that's done, you're gonna be left with this homemade fertilizer. And this is the fertilizer I made last night from my load that I had loaded up in the bucket. And this is basically like veggie peels, pineapple rinds, chicken bones, coffee, my coffee grinds with the filters go right in there. And I can actually mix this in with my house plants or in my garden in the spring. And this is gonna help actually grow your plants better. It's really cool. Now, I personally don't mix it in with my plants. I throw this right back in the trash can only because I don't have a garden. But the reason I still love my food cycler so much is because I'm reducing my waste by 90% of the volume. So you take a big bucket like that, it's gonna to reduce to this much when you're done. So 90% less trash going in the landfill. There's no methane gas coming out of it. And you're really reducing your carbon footprint it is such a cool product. And I know if you're like me and you use your Vitamix all the time, you're going to have a lot of fruit and veggie scraps. So check out the Food Cycler. Those are online with an exclusive price just for AFI's uh, members as well. So if you go to shopmyexchange.com, you can check that out this holiday season. It makes a great gift for the gardener in your life as well. Okay, enough of me talking. I want to see how that ice cream turned out. By the way, I'm super jealous that I don't get to try that ice cream because Allie's all the way in Buffalo. But let's see how she came out with that ice cream. Allie. Gee, I've practiced a lot of self-control not to jump in and start <laughs> eating this ice cream. Um, but check it out. Look how, I can't wait to show you. got a little ice cream scoop here, but look how delicious and creamy this is. It's again, we turn the chocolate espresso fondue into chocolate espresso ice cream. It's a delicious soft serve. It's so good. I cannot wait to try it. Um, and then look, here is actually the whipped cream that I um that I whipped up earlier. Uh, again, that was heavy cream, some sugar, and some vanilla extract. And this is a perfect topping for this ice cream. You can throw it on a little dollop. Also, I just want to refer back to Tea's pumpkin, um, pumpkin smoothie. This is a great topping for that as well. And, and like we've been saying this whole time, you know, this is really going to unlock a lot of nutritional goals that you want to achieve. Um, it's such a game changer when it comes to your health, your family's health, your friend's health. You can do so much with it. You're going to love it. You're going to use it every single day, whether it be just whipping up an, uh, an early morning smoothie or making dinner or whipping up something delicious and, and quick for lunch. It's just you'll use it all the time. You're going to love it. And, again, we have such a great package through this Facebook Live event. 
you're not only going to get the A2500 with the 64 ounce container, just to show you this one again. And again, you can make, make bigger batches of that soup like T showed you. Um, you can do so much big smoothies, big, big everything. So this is good stuff. Um, then your 48 ounce container, you're getting the cookbooks um, and then a 10 year warranty. Your choice of black or slate. Don't wait. I'm telling you, you are not going to regret it. You're going to love it. And like I said, you're going to use it every single day. So thank you, everyone. I'm actually going to try this. I'm probably making you all really jealous right now, but very, I'm very super jealous. jealous. <laughs> it's, it's I'm going to so try good. the soup, though. At least I have some soup. So, mm. Allie, we do have a question. Patty says, for the ice cream, you didn't need to add any milk to the ice in espresso fondue. Is that right? Yes. Um, so exactly. We actually, in the beginning of the fondue recipe, we used heavy cream. So that substituted as the, the milk that you're referring to. And then whenever you're doing an ice cream, just a little tip, it's usually about three parts liquid um, or one part liquid to three, three parts ice. So if you're doing like a cup of liquid, if you want to make it a nice frozen treat, add about three cups of ice. And you can kind of use that same type of tip and measurement if you're using, if you want to make like a frozen smoothie and you're using frozen ingredients. I freeze my bananas all the time. I freeze my strawberries. So if I'm using a lot of frozen ingredients, there's no need to add ice either. So yeah, but in this, uh, in this recipe, just to go over it again, it's two cups of heavy cream, a cup of water. Um, we did four tablespoons of espresso, six tablespoons of powdered sugar, and then we did two ounces of brandy and then four cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. So it makes it really easy. And you can see I got a heck of a lot of fondue out of that. When I was done blending the fondue, it was up to the eight cup, or excuse me, six cup mark. Um, and then when I, when I poured half of it out and used, put the ice in, I'm back up to that six cup mark. So you can really stretch all of your recipes. Um, and it's so much fun. It's so easy to do. So I hope that answered your question. It was, it was Patty, right? Patty. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. She did. All she right. says thank you. Thank for asking you. That. Awesome. Yeah, and I think that's, if there's any other questions, I'll, I'll be here, I'll be available. But like I said, you're gonna love it, you're gonna use it every day. And I'm gonna go enjoy my ice cream now. So thank you, Leah, thank you everyone. This, if you guys are watching this afterwards, um, Allie, Mark and I will go back through these comments periodically throughout the promo, just to check and see um, if we need to answer any questions for you. So feel free to comment, even if you're watching this later on and, and we're no longer live, we would love to answer your questions and interact with you. We'd love to hear what your favorite recipes are. All of that stuff is great. We love to hear from our customers. So again, pick up your Vitamix, pick it up if you have one already, grab one as a gift for someone. It's a great gift for the holiday season. And thank you so much for watching. Um, we do have another Facebook Live event coming up in November. So stay tuned for that. We will make sure that we get it posted on the page, on the schedule, so you guys can see when we'll be live again, making some more holiday recipes for all of you. So we're excited about that. And Leah, do you have anything else to close us out? No, I do want to say that earlier I saw a comment about uh, peanut butter. Someone said that their favorite thing to make was peanut butter. So I just want to say that the first Vitamix Live that we had, it was in June, and Tarina walked us through making homemade peanut butter with only one ingredient, and that is peanuts. So um, <laughs> if you haven't seen it, I recommend going back and watching that episode because it was fantastic. It sold me on Vitamix, and I ordered mine from that promotion. <laughs> That's amazing. I love awesome. it. Yeah, that peanut butter. I just had some fresh peanut butter from my Vitamix last night. I made it previously, but it lasts in the fridge for a long time. So it's so good. Amazing. Yes. Yep. Excellent. So thanks, Tarina. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Allie. We appreciate you guys and your time um, and coming to share with us and share with um, military families what Vitamix has to offer and um, all of the great promotions. So thank you so much. And just reminding you guys who are watching that all of the prices that were mentioned today, these are military exclusive, exclusive price prices only available through your exchange yes so awesome thank you so much everyone thank you everybody have a good weekend thank you.